Hello everyone, welcome to our Schneider Graduate Program Briefing Session. My name is John Woon, the Talent and Learning Director for East Asia Japan Zone. Let me start by sharing our agenda for today. We'll be kicking off by providing a thorough introduction about Schneider Graduate Program, including the structure as well as the benefits that you would expect to get out of it. We will then move on to talk about the selection process, highlighting some experts' advice on how you can best prepare yourself to stand out as a potential candidate. Before going into the details, allow me to share the reason why we want to have this program. It all starts with our purpose, which is to empower all to make the best or make the most of our energy and resources to bridge progress and sustainability for all. At Schneider, we call this Life is On. In fulfilling this purpose, we see our mission in a very clear manner. And that is, as a partner, a digital partner in sustainability and efficiency. The main challenge of our generation is probably climate change. But there is good news. We are the generation that came to know about it. And we are the generation that can change the trajectory of carbon emissions and therefore climate change. There is no better time than now to take sustainability to the next level. In Schneider, we have made six long-term sustainability commitments aligned to deliver on UN's Sustainable Development Goals for a better sustainable future. These commitments frame our sustainability strategy and drive our action and impact on sustainability for business, planet and people, covering all aspects of environment, society and governance. The linkage is clear. When you look at commitment number five, which is on people, we want to harness the power of all generations to invite them to join hands with us in this journey. And obviously, your generation, who will become the leaders of the future, plays an important part in this. So, it's our strategic priority to support the acceleration of young talent with potential and with leadership ambitions to build a pipeline of future leaders for Schneider. And the Schneider Graduate Program, or SGP in short, is an important channel to achieve our goals to build future leaders. So this program has gone through many refinements, a reflection that as a company, we are constantly on the move to do things better. From 2018 to 2021, we hired more than 150 graduates under these programs across countries in the East Asia and Japan region. In 2021, in alignment with our strategic ambition, we want to take the program to the next level by providing more structure and consistency. We started with a unified naming convention and definition in Schneider Graduate. So here we are, the Schneider Graduate Program or SGP is a 24 month program built with an acceleration intent, offering graduates a strong start for a meaningful career with the most sustainable company in the world. So what comes with the program structure? This is a high level framework that I call the 3211 for you to easily visualize what to expect out of the program. Throughout the 24 months, you will experience three rotations, two years of mentoring, one mission lab project, one learning path, 3211. Details about rotations and projects may vary by countries depending on the local context, but these are the elements that will be consistently applied wherever you are hired into the program. Besides the learning exposure and accelerated career path, you will also enjoy other benefits that we have to offer. Number one, competitive salary. Of course, I will leave it to you to find out later how much we are going to offer. But our rewards philosophy ensure that we recognize the potential of our employees and being competitive to attract the right talents. Number two, world-class benefits and recognition. For example, our global family leave policy allows employees to take care of family members. We also recognize employees based on our core values via an internal platform called Step Up and many other local benefits that we enjoy when you join us. Number three, flexible work arrangement. Right, since 2021, we have enforced a global policy allowing more flexibility when it comes to work arrangement for our employees in a hybrid model, allowing our employees to have two days working from home per week after aligning with their manager. 
And last but not least, our employer value proposition. Great people make Schneider a great company. We commit to provide an environment where our people find their work meaningful and where we role model inclusion and ensure that all are empowered to deliver on our purpose to make the most of our energy and resources. So the purpose is central and where you find connection with our purpose, all other things will flow. So you might be asking, what are we looking for as our potential candidate for the Schneider graduate program? We summarize the key characteristics into this 3A model. 3A stands for number one, ambition. Number two, agility. Number three, alignment. So let me go into a bit more details into each of this. Ambition. You must have the ambition to grow and become global leaders. So that speaks about your desire, your willingness to want to grow with the company, to look for growth. And when you are able to do that, you will definitely grow with the company. So you must have the ambition. Number two, agility. Agility in our context refers to whether you learn fast and whether you continue to stay curious and hungry for more and your ability to adapt to the new digital environment. This is what we mean by agility. So how, how are you going to demonstrate agility during the screening process? You know, you need to show that to us. Number three, alignment. And what do we mean by alignment? It's alignment with our core values and our culture. Our core values are number one, customer first, number two, dare to disrupt, or what we call innovate. Innovate is our middle name. Challenge current thinking, speak up and let your talents be seen. That's really daring to disrupt. Okay, the third core value would be embrace different. We like to use the term, I am different like you, right? So we are all different. So how are we gonna embrace different? How can we demonstrate that we embrace different and we are very inclusive? That's a very important core value to us. Number four, learn every day. Things are changing every day and we need to be curious and we need to seek learning on a day-to-day -day basis so that we can continue to be relevant. Okay, and last but not least, the fifth is to act like owner. We wanted to have people who drive entrepreneurial mindset to work as if this is your business, right? Act like owner, you own this business, you make your call. Okay, so alignment with our core values is once again central. Alignment with our core values and connection with our purpose. These are the two things that are very important as we look out for potential candidates. So now I've been talking more about the structure of the program and I would like to conclude with some success stories. So we have this candidate, uh, Bertrand Wong, who is our SGP and he has completed the SGP program in Singapore and is now based in Korea as a rewards partner for the North Asia countries. Bertrand was hired as a human resource SGP and had the opportunity to work in a different country. And he went to Paris as one of his rotation. And that program was sponsored or co-sponsored with the Singapore government. You know, having said that, do note that international exposure is not a part of this program, right? However, it depends on the context of each country. So, Having also said that Schneider is a global company and we actively promote job movements across country as well. Another example is the SGP whom we hired in Korea, Nayong. She joined us last year with, the, with an engineering master background and was involved in creating a global network with other SGPs. You know, within a short time of joining us, she's able to build her network, creating a global network by working together with other SGPs. So she just completed one rotation with the process automation sales team and she will move on to join the delivery team and then the proposal team. So at the end of her three rotations, she would have acquired a broad understanding of our process automation business end to end. She would then formally start with the sales team. All right, so I just share two great examples of our SGP who have been very successful in uh, how they are navigating their career. Okay, so with that, I'm going to hand over the time to uh, Leon, who is the Talent Acquisition uh, Director. Hi everybody, my name is Leon. So I think so far you have heard a lot of great stories about Schneider Electric. And I think we should switch gears and talk about you, talk about your stories at Schneider. So I think uh, who can apply to this position and the following should roughly describe you. You should, you would be a graduate with a bachelor or master's degree. And as for the major requirements that will really depend on the position you're applying for. 
you will be someone with less than two years of working experience. Your command of English should be very important because it's going to help you communicate with a very international audience and colleagues from all around the world. We would like it if you have an interest. They read out about Schneider's Electric's purpose and mission, which is about sustainability. We should hope that you are passionate about this topic. You'll be ambitious, agile, and aligned. And please check that you're legally eligible to work in our country because we will not be able to support you in terms of visa and your work permits. So now let's go a little bit into the selection process, which is basically the journey that you'll be walking through with us. So there are majorly four major steps in the process, which is namely the online application. There'll be a video interview uh, segment, and there'll be assessments, and finally the interviews, a meeting of leaders uh, at Schneider. So the next steps, we'll go through a little bit of details for each of these four stages. Now. It's important that you check eligibility. As I mentioned, this program is for the local talents in the local market. So uh, please make sure that you're eligible in the country that you're applying for. Um, the online application process is quite simple, it's quite straightforward, but it's important for you to know and pick the select and select the right position for yourself. And when you're applying and you're putting in your resume, there's no need to put a very long resume, be concise, so that it, it really you know, reflects on what you do in a very simple way. All right. And then try to be careful with application. I think it's easy to sometimes make some mistakes here and there. So we'll really suggest that you be careful to check out for small, simple things like the grammar and time post and such. And yes, don't wait for the last minute. Once you see the opportunity, your interest to apply early because they give us more time to be able to attend to your interests. Okay. And the next step is a video interview, as like I mentioned earlier. This is through an application. It can be via your mobile device or your laptop. It can be done anytime, anywhere. But we'll definitely suggest that you uh, find a good time uh, and dedicate that time in the right environment, uh, in a place that is not noisy. It is the uh, uh, environment that you feel in control of, and then and you won't be easily distracted. There will be instructions given to you. There will be um, ability for you to plan your time properly. There will be a chance for you to practice those questions. But in a nutshell, you'll be asked a series of questions in which you'll be given some time to think about and prepare and answer the questions of our video. You do not need to make full use of the time allocated to you. You just need to fully express uh, your thoughts on those questions being given. And likewise, don't wait till the last minute. If you receive the invitation to come forward to this video interview, please take it ASAP because that also gives us time to really consider your candidacy. Thank you. And the third step here is the assessments. So um, they will be in different parts. There will be an assessment center. It might be virtual or it might be on site. And, and there might as well be further assessments uh, through some gamified games. Uh, sorry, gamified assessments. So uh, coming forward to the assessment centers, it's important for you to understand the objective, the requirements. I think we will set some opportunities for you to prepare. Uh, it could be case studies for you to fully understand um, the objective and then think through very carefully uh, before you, you, you come forth to it. Communication is very, very important. This is where we want to hear about you. We want to hear about your ideas and your thought process. So make sure that you come forward and fully express yourself. So do prepare yourself mentally. I think in the whole process, there's something where we want to find that right balance between your, your individuality and also the ability to work as a team. So it's very important to find that right balance right between me and us and do your homework. Schneider Electric is 185 years old, so there's a lot of content about us online, so please make sure that you find some time to know about us, to, 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 so that it's going to help you as well understand the journey that we brought through 185 years and the journey that we're going to move forward uh, from here. And the final round of interview, if you make it all the way to this stage, I think you'll be really, really near to the end point right now. So this is a time where you'll be meeting your hiring manager and the business leader, it could be a country president as well, or some HR leaders who you'll be working closely with if you choose to join us eventually. So this is time where I'll just like to remind you that we really want to hire you 
you yourself, uniquely you. We do not want you to think that um, to be the person that you think we want you to be. We want you to be yourself because that is where the real power is, right? So be prepared and come forward and then read out a little bit about behavioral interview questions. But essentially, you know, we are trying to ask you a series of questions that might bring us back to experiences you had before in your past. And we'd like to know how did you behave in those settings and environment? Because that is going to help us understand uh, the person in you. And yes, leverage the STAR model. STAR is pretty simple. It means the situation, the task at hand, and then the actions you have taken and the results that came out of it. So this really walks us through uh, your experiences and how you dealt with things and the results that you have taken from it, all the learnings that you might have taken from, from those experiences. It's very, very important to dimension that you enjoy this interview. This is something as much as we want um, to bring you in, we want to make sure that you have a good experience. So, so please come forth open mind and then uh, open communications too and make sure that you enjoy um, this whole process and lastly how to prepare yourself for this i think we we'll just do a quick recap firstly the online application you can go to our career site prepare yourself a cv make it snappy and very concise two pages is sufficient uh, check for all your errors and then apply as soon as you can for those who get through that process, you'll be invited for the video interview, which we hope that will be uh, one that you can enjoy the process with. And then again, do not wait till last minute. Once you receive the invitation, do try to take on ASAP. All right. An assessment, like I said, there will be partly assessment centers or give me five assessment. So um, be comfortable, uh, be, be prepared uh, and, and be yourself through that. And finally, when we finally get to see you in person again, uh, we would like you to, to show us uh, who you really are because and that's whom we are really interested to know more about. And we're just going to uh, read, I mean, just to share a little bit about the whole uh, timeline here. As you can see that this program is not uh, specifically for just one country. In fact, it is a, it's a worldwide program. And these are some of the countries which we are you know, in Asia with. You can see that the period of hiring is still there against all those countries, the type of, type of roles that we are applying, that you may be able to apply for, and there's some potential target studies that we might be seeing you. So with all this, I would like to thank you for the time you've given us. i uh, like you to wish you the very, very pleasant experience in this whole process. We'd like to take your feedback and then hopefully to see you one day in person and, and, and all the best here. So I uh, hope to hear about your stories at Schneider Electric in the future. Thank you. Thank you.